Just in time for the honorable member speech. Yep, Parliament is coming to our village. I'm putting this on the veranda so everyone can watch the special debate on ending child marriages with our very own champion, Miss Dahlia Kumbe. And this, my fellow members, is how we will make sure every girl in our country has the right to wait to wed. Oh, I can't wait. We can put this somewhere too. Hmm, I like it. So, how did she become such a strong advocate for ending child marriage? When she was still a provincial councillor, there was a village with many, many girls married to older men. So when she became an MP, she decided to tackle the issue head-on, right at the top of government. So, how did she go about it? Hmm, let's see. What is the situation in my country around child marriages? The numbers, the laws, the policies? Hmm. Now, where's the SADC model law? I want to compare our laws with it so I can see where the gaps are and where I need to focus. That's clever. Simple but effective. Once she knew everything she needed to know, she started building alliances and making sure that she spoke about the model law whenever she could. Ah, I remember. She also partnered with us as a civil society organization. She knew how to reach out to as many stakeholders as she could find, high and low, far and wide. If I remember correctly, she really lobbied to end child marriage during the International Day of the Girl Child in Parliament. My fellow MPs, I am happy to announce that 70 of you have signed the petition against child marriages. This kind of cooperation among different political parties is unheard of. I thank you on behalf of all of the girls who now face a better future. And she didn't stop there. She introduced debates in Parliament on child welfare and marriages and education for girls. I know. She's really got the conversation going on a national and even regional level. Even further than that, because she belongs to several inter-parliamentary organizations and associations. She's had these dialogues with people all over the world. She's also made sure she holds the government to account. You are the head of social development. You said you needed six months to report back to us. Why has it not been done? She always says you can wait to wed, but you can't wait to do the work. How about money? Has she been able to get funding allocated for the cause? Yep, she has. Again, lots of work. But she got several different ministries to allocate funding for different initiatives. The Justice Department, Social Development, Home Affairs. And through all of this, she hasn't forgotten the constituents who need her most. The girls themselves. Let's get this TV up. I would like to introduce Chisisi Montlani who will be giving us her personal testimony about her experience of being in a child marriage and how her future has changed for the better when she was able to leave that marriage. So I beg you, please abolish all child marriages so that girls like me have the support from the whole of society to choose to wait to wait. 